Oh, you think my videos are awesome? Well, I will reply to you, sir, and say, you are more awesome. Send. There we go. You don't like my videos? Well, I'm gonna tell you a piece of my... Hey guys, you just caught me replying to comments on YouTube. <laughs> Do you want to know why I'm doing this? Do you want to know what it does to your channel? Let's discuss that on this episode. But before we start, guys, you know what to do. Like, sub, and gong that bell. Hey guys, my name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. Today, let's discuss why we want to answer YouTube comments and also engage on your audiences. Also, we will be teaching you on ways on how to connect to your audiences or your community. So guys, without further ado, Freedom Quick Tips. Before anything else guys, let's discuss first why we need to engage our audiences. Engaging your audience is one of the most important things if you are starting out your channel. Why is it important though? The goal of any content creator is to get a stable amount of views and in order to achieve that, you will need to build a community for that. Answering comments is one way to get your audience's trust, but there are other ways to get their attention. We will be giving you tips on how to interact and create a community for your channel. The tips we'll be giving out will be found at the Creator Academy on YouTube side. So guys, without further ado, let's go. Reply to comments. The common way for you to interact with your audience is to reply to their comments even on the go. You can use your mobile phone to reply to your audience and be at the ready every day. Number two, pin comments at the top of the feed. You can pin your comments, or if you see a comment that your audience put up that you feel is worthy to be pinned, don't be hesitate to pin them. Number three, show some love by giving hearts to your favorite comments. Giving your audience some love will always resonate a positive impact on your audiences. Now let's say you have a community and you want to be more in tune or you want to be more connected with them. Well, here are the things that you can do to help you out. Number one, plug your community into initiatives, projects, or topics you are interested in and promote them with hashtags. When you have a community of people believing in you, you need to take care of them and make them feel they are inside an exclusive community. If you have any projects, your community should be the first ones to know about it. You put them above all the rest. Number two, make videos about your community. Listen to your fans. When they ask something if you can make a video about something and you can do it, Try to see if you can put it up for them. To build a successful YouTube page, you will need to have your community happy. Consider making a thank you note for them once in a while. Listen to your audience and respond. When you have ideas on your mind that you want to do on your channel, you might consider asking your audiences first. It's always a good idea for you to listen to their feedback. Number four, connect with your fans to build loyalty. Now things are getting a little personal. Your fans will always want to talk and connect with you. Consider hosting a live stream for your top community members. Number five, keeping your audience in the know. When your audience becomes subscribers, they are mostly the people who will be up to date with your content. Always ask them to gong that bell and post on available social media to update them on your activities. That's the episode, Freedom Family. Do you think these tips are beneficial to you? Also, do you have any tips that you can share down below? Let us know. Share this to a friend if you know they want to build a community for their channel. Before you leave, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold, guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. See you on the next episode. Goodbye!